We are now given these two similar triangles and we'd like to find this unknown side in. Remember what similar triangles means in geometry? It means that they're the same shape but not necessarily the same size. And in fact, similar triangles have sides that are in proportion. So what does that mean here? It means that this side's length, 8, is to its corresponding side in the other similar triangle is to 5, as this triangle's length, 12, is to this corresponding side, n. And so we have a proportion. By the way, this is one way of writing a proportion from these two similar triangles. There are many other ways also. Let's find the value, or this length, by solving for n. So how do we solve? We equate cross products. 5 times 12, that's 60, is equal to 8 times n, and that's 8n. And then let's finish solving by dividing both sides by 8, the right side by 8, and the left side by 8. The right side, I'll have 1n or simply n. The left side, let's go ahead and simplify. Let's divide both the numerator and denominator by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2, and 60 divided by 4 is 15. So this side has length 15 over 2 units. There are many ways you can write this. You can write it as a mixed number. As a mixed number, it would be 7 and 1 half units. Or we can write it as a decimal. As a decimal, it would be 7 and 5 tenths units. But that is the length of this side of this one similar triangle.